How to adjust inventory quantity in QuickBooks. Hey there, everyone. This is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Wanted to show you how to adjust the quantity of inventory you have showing in QuickBooks. Now, even more important, what I want to show you is what it does. So when you make an adjustment to inventory, it's going to affect some other part of QuickBooks. Okay, and I'm going to show you what that part generally is. Uh, and we'll get to that in just a second. So one important thing that you want to do when you have inventory and you're using QuickBooks is you want to do a physical count periodically. Typically, most companies will do a physical count either monthly or quarterly. Some just do it annually. Um, it does take some time, depending on how much inventory you have, depending on how much staff you have, but you want to do these counts periodically. That way you can go in and adjust the quantity in QuickBooks um, because sometimes things happen. You know, you might input the wrong quantity. You may have counted wrong when your vendor shipped you the inventory and you put in the wrong amount. Uh, somebody might take some inventory. Who knows? There's going to be some kind of waste, and so those counts are going to get off. All right, so... Here we are on the home screen of QuickBooks Desktop, and what you're going to do is go to Vendors, and then you're going to go down to Inventory Activities and adjust Quantity Value on Hand. All right, so it comes to this value screen or this quantity and value screen and where we adjust it. You're going to see here Adjustment Type Quantity or Total Value. All right, so we're talking about the quantity in this case. All right, so we're going to say the quantity, the date is going to be the date that you're going to adjust this as of. So let's say that it's 1231, so we're at the end of the year. The adjustment account is generally going to be cost of goods sold, all right, because inventory directly affects cost of goods sold. So it, you know, when you buy it, it's inventory, and then you sell it, it turns into cost of goods sold and goes on your profit and loss statement. So in general, it's going to be cost of goods sold. Now, you may have another cost of goods sold account, you know, that you're going to um, set up here. You know, some people will set up a separate account that is inventory adjustment account. Um, some people just put it to cost of goods sold. We're going to put it to cost of goods sold. Now, over here, we're going to find and select the items. This is going to be the easiest way to do it. You can go line by line and pick things, but this will be the easiest way is to just go through and say, okay, here are the quantities I have. We're going to say that we need to adjust the cabinet poles, the light pine, uh, the brass hinges, and the overhead door. Okay, so we know that we need to adjust these. So we're going to click here and say add selected items. You can see here it pulls all these up. It's got the description and the quantity on hand. Right here is where you're going to type in the new quantity. So if we if you go to do your count and you say, okay, cabinet pulls, we actually only have 415. You just type in the new 100, 415. Now you'll notice down here that it says total value of adjustment, negative $20.47. Now, what that is based on is the item. So when you set up the inventory item and you have a cost in there, that is where that number is coming from. So you're saying we are reducing it by eight times the cost gives you $20.47. Now, this is going to be when you reduce the inventory quantity that you have on hand, this is going to increase your cost to get sold. And I'll show you that here in just a minute with an example. And, and that's because if it's truly 415, then that cost has to go somewhere. Okay, so the natural place is going to be cost of goods sold. So let's say that our cabinets, light pine, we only have four. Uh, and then hardware brass hinges, in this case, let's say that we have uh, 252. So that was more. And now when you have more, that is going to decrease cost of goods sold. Okay, because the assumption is, okay, too many were taken out of inventory, put in cost of goods sold, so now we're going to take it back out. All right, so you need to understand when you do an adjustment up or down, what it's going to do to your profit and loss statement. So then overhead door, we're going to say that we have nine of those instead of 10. 
All right, so you see here the total value of adjustment, negative $1,555.14. That is the cost of all of these items going up and then the other three going down. So that's, it's as simple as that when you do it, but here's the effect. So we're gonna save and close. And you'll notice I didn't put anything to customer job or class. You can fill those in if you need to. Generally, I'm not sure of when you would apply it to a customer, but of course you can if you have certain inventory just for a customer. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to our profit and loss. So let's go to reports, let's go to profit and loss standard, and we wanna make sure that the date range goes to 1231. All right, let's update that. And we wanna go down to cost of goods sold. So you can see here, cost of goods sold, 6,103. And you can see our adjustment here. It was a negative on the other screen because that means that we are reducing the inventory cost and we are increasing cost of goods sold. So you can see this inventory adjustment, $1,555. And if I click on this, it's gonna take me back to this screen. Now, that is the profit and loss statement. So now if we go to the balance sheet, all right, so I go to company and financial, I go down to balance sheet standard, I make sure that it's through December 31st because that was the date of the adjustment. If we go to inventory, let's find inventory on this balance sheet. Here it is, inventory asset. Okay, and let's see, inventory adjustment, 1573. Let me go back just a couple days. Okay. So these are the adjustments here. And it looks a little strange because you've got 1573. So it's reducing inventory and then 18, which was the brass hinges, which is increasing inventory. So the net of those two is the total adjustment. I think it was 1855. All right. So that is the total adjustment. So you can see it reduces or increases the asset on the balance sheet but it also increases or reduces cost of goods sold depending on the direction of your adjustment. But those are the basics of how to adjust inventory quantity in QuickBooks. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below and I'll see you in the next video.